this time Nemo gets to go on the adventure in Finding Dory starring Ellen DeGeneres, which hits theaters this Friday. This is your boy Blogzilla and Extra Butter is giving you an all access look. Let's go. Migration is about going home, home, which is where you're from. How do the stingrays all know where to go? Instinct, something deep inside you that feels so familiar that you have to listen to it. <gasps> my mom, my dad, I have a family. We will never forget you, Dory. What if I forget you? I miss them. Ellen is back as the always delightful Dory as she gets lost this time and Marlon and Nima have to go out and find her. And I talk to the entire cast about coming back to this beloved Pixar franchise and meeting some new friends along the way. It's really dope and you're gonna enjoy it. Watch this right here. Such a fun movie. What was it like when you guys got this call like, hey, we're doing this again? Yeah, it was like, okay. <laughs> it's like, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, there was no hesitation. They said it was the easiest thing getting people to work with you, so that was really fun. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, anybody wants to work with Pixar anyway, but, and then finding Nemo was such a big hit, I think everybody would have jumped on board, but what a cast, right? Yeah. I mean, it's amazing. I don't even know how long, because, well, you see, I suffer from short-term memory. Short-term memory loss. Look, no more talking, okay? I don't like talking. I don't like chatter and questions. And how are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, I'm fine, too. Newsflash. Nobody's fine. Well, what would you do with eight arms? You had eight arms as Ed. What, what would you do with eight arms? We don't want to hear. <laughs> we don't want to know. Don't even ask. Don't don't ask what he would do with. <laughs> no, it's disgusting. Yeah. Who's that? That's my neighbor, Bailey. Uh -huh. He was brought in with a head injury. I know you're talking about me, Destiny. He thinks he can't use his echolocation, but I've overheard the doctors talking. I'm right here. There's not a thing wrong hear with it. every word you're saying about me. What's echolocation? Well, Bailey's head is supposed to put out a call, and the echo helps him find objects far away. Oh, but apparently, he's still healing. Now I know you're talking about me. I really can't oh, echolocate. I cannot have this conversation again. I, I hit can't. my head very hard out there. See how swollen it is? Your head is supposed to be big. You're a beluga. When you guys got the call, what's the first thing, like Friday the 2, boom, what, what goes through your mind? We didn't let them finish the sentence. Yeah. We heard Pixar yeah. and we screamed yes into the phone and then <laughs> threw it across the room. <laughs> so that no negative yeah, information right. could come That's back right. out That's right, I didn't want to hear that it was a joke. <laughs> yes, yeah. and then just <laughs> <laughs> Destroyed it. Yeah, Pixar yeah. is a dream come true. Finding Dory is a beautiful film with some sad moments and some really fun moments along the way. One of my favorite moments was figuring out how Dory learned how to speak well. We find that out in this movie and I talked to the actors about that, so check it out. One of my favorite parts of Finding Nemo was when Dory talks well and we see the origin of how she yeah. learns how to talk well. Yeah. How do you guys know how long it was to sort of figure out, okay, how does she how does she learn how to speak yeah, well? Yeah, well there was we all had so few clues from the first movie as to like what should her backstory be because we had she can read, yeah. she can speak well, and then she knew weird random facts that only adults yeah, know, exactly. like sea monkeys and money. And yeah. like, how does she know this Someone stuff? Someone gets my wallet, or you know, and you're like, how does she have this? Con she, like, what's the context? She has of that? to be around humans. We've realized we, she had to be. She had to see like, and you realize if you were in an exhibit, you'd see it's such an array of people coming in front of you, saying the weirdest stuff, doing the weirdest things. Oh, oh sorry, not a great swimmer. I think you swim beautifully. Thank you. You welcome. Wait. Yes. Dory? Yes. You and I were friends! No. It was so much fun because I'd tell you a story and then you'd completely forget about it. Being friends with Dory and coming up and being such a vital part of her life and your character helps her teach, you know, learn well. Which is, you know, saved a bunch of people's lives. Like, did you? That's right, yeah. That I'm a lifesaver, me personally. Hero. I'm a hero. Is that hero. what you're saying? Yes, you are yeah. a hero. Uh, yeah, it was really cool. I loved that it was such an integral part of the story and that they were friends and it turns out that they've known each other since they were not children because that's not what a whale shark is when it's little. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. There you have it, folks. Extra butter with your boy, Blogzilla. Now look, when I told my mom I was going to interview Ellen, she got overjoyed and recorded this message for me. <laughs> I showed it to Ellen and Ellen took my phone and made a message for my mother. So I'm going to leave you on that. But be sure to comment and subscribe and down below. And we'll see you next week on Extra Butter. Finding Dory in theaters this weekend. Your boy Blogzilla. I'm out. Peace. Hey, Dolores. It's, uh, it's Ellen. Um, first of all, how come you just don't want to come see my show without wanting the free stuff? How come you have to get free stuff? <laughs> just come and dance and have fun. Now, I mean, I would invite you, but the fact that you want to use me just for the free stuff, that ain't right. 
you know, giving your son a hard time and everything. Anyway, he's fantastic. I like him a whole lot. And uh, come see my show sometime. We'll make sure we get you in, okay? All right. Say say hi. To hi, Dolores. Dolores. How you doing? That's Ed O'Neill. Dolores, I like free stuff, too. Everybody likes free stuff, but you should just like me. <laughs>